What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars and Empress Wisdom. What's good, Piscean? How you doing, loves? Mwah. This is going to be a reading for Piscean Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, as well as North Node. This could be involving a soulmate, a twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of Piscean. All right, energies can be vice versa, so get in where you fit in. You will know who you are specifically in the store if you're keeping it 100. But then again, messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let your girl know. If you would like to hit me up, that information is in the description. And if you would like to leave a love donation, that's down there too. I'm very much appreciated. Aww. All right, so let's go ahead and get started for my Pisceans. I do have a pre-channel message for you guys before we get started uh, with your overall. One second, though. All right, so your pre-channel messages are... Um, so these may or may not resonate with you, um, but it says you may be looking to sell something because you are lacking faith and patience, Piscean, Okay. Um, guidance from a spiritual worker or a therapist may help you with releasing the past um, because something didn't or isn't moving forward. All right. So I feel like something may not have moved forward in the recent past for you. For some of you guys, um, some of you guys could be lacking faith and patience because of this. Uh, but if y'all think about selling something, OK, I don't know what you're trying to sell. But whatever y'all think about selling, I feel like you guys are uh, some of you guys could be just lacking patience. All right. I feel like. Um, your dreams uh, are coming into fruition here, but you uh, need to have faith. Okay, that's your sign, Pisces. Also, um, I'm, I feel like you guys are counting your coins. You guys could be looking at your bank account a lot. You guys could be checking, you know, some of y'all going to have some change. Y'all like, shit, look, I need to make this some dollars, okay? Or some some hundreds, some, some grand, some cheese. All right, so I feel like some of y'all looking at your money. Uh, you guys could be considering uh, working a nine-to-five job, getting a new job. Um, but I feel like it's because you are reflecting on when you felt trapped, broke, or dependent in your past. All right. So I feel like some of you guys are looking to sell stuff, looking for a new or looking to uh, get a new job position. Um, but I, you ain't there no more, Pisces. You ain't there no more. I feel like some of you guys need to let that uh, lack mentality go on, roll off it. D brush it off your shoulders okay go ahead go on brush it off your shoulders okay uh because i feel like some of y'all definitely um maybe you guys have lacked in the past maybe you guys have struggled financially in the past but um i feel like whenever you guys are starting to lose money or whenever you guys don't feel like you have uh, enough i feel like you start to you know panic and start to think okay what can i sell going to the pawn shop uh going to get a payday loan or uh shit somebody may want to sell some sell some nanny you know what i'm saying somebody may want to sell some nanny like look i gotta get it how i live you know what i'm saying somebody may want to sell some drugs okay but i feel like y'all just need to pause okay have faith because that is not your life no more all right wherever you came from <clears throat> where you were impoverished or where you were feeling like uh feeling that lack you are not there no more all right so uh, that may or may not resonate for you. Let's get an overall for my Pisceans, though. All right, let's see. Some of you guys could be a mother, all right, or you could be dealing with your mother. But transcend your mind's limitations and allow your uh, light to truly shine. I feel like some of you guys aren't paying attention. Some of you guys could be feeling uh, imbalanced, uh, your masculine and feminine. So some of you guys could, uh, I'm getting a hormone imbalance for some of you guys. All right, so... Um, this could either be that you have too much testosterone, you have too much estrogen, um, but there is some type of uh, hormonal imbalance I feel for you, or feel is going on within you guys, and I feel like it could be something that you're seeing on the outside. So there could be an imbalance in your relationships, your connections, uh, your life. Maybe shit ain't working. You know, things aren't things aren't panning out the way you want it to because there's an imbalance internally. So. <clears throat> If you guys have some type of imbalance internally, that's going to manifest in your physical. And that's why there's, you know, um, there's imbalances in your physical reality. All right. So um, and I feel like this is all stemming from your mind. All right. Uh, your thoughts. So I feel like you guys need to transcend those limiting beliefs and negative thoughts, feeling lack, feeling like, damn, if I don't, you know, if I if I take some money out of here, I'm going to be broke again. I'm going to be starving again. Remember when I was younger and I was, uh, you know, in an infested home and I couldn't find no food or, you know, I was always hungry. I feel like you guys need to release that. All right. I feel like, it, of course, it's that's a heavy situation. 
<clears throat> to um to be impoverished, to always have to look for food, to always have to look for money, to not be able to pay bills, rent, things like that. Um, some of you guys, this could have been your childhood with your parents uh, or a single mother, okay? Or this could have been um, something that you dealt with as an adult, or this could be something you're dealing with, but transcend those limiting beliefs about, uh, about your coins, about yourself. I feel like some of you guys are in, stuck in an illusion that you are not financially free, but you are, all right? You are free. All right, so let's go ahead and see what types of energies you're dealing with in the next seven days here for Piscean. So you could be dealing with someone with Venus and Virgo. Someone could have Scorpio on their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, North Node. All right, let's see. Could be dealing. I'm definitely getting Virgo here. So this could be you. You could have Virgo in your chart. All right, or you could be dealing with two different Virgos. I feel like this one could be. Um, I feel like one could be light skin and one could be darker. So it could be two different Virgos. One's just like light skin or white. All right. And or um, and the other is I feel like this is two uh, two people that could be related or two people or this could be you because I'm, I'm definitely seeing the blonde hair here or light hair, light skin. All right. So maybe there is one person that has Virgo on their chart that is lighter and another person that has Virgo on their chart that's dark skin. All right. Um, let's see. Definitely getting blonde hair. I'm also getting someone who dyes their hair black, red, blonde. So it's like someone who alternates. Let's see. I'm also uh, getting lemons. All right. Some of you guys may want to uh, use lemons to detox. All right. Lemon water. I'm also getting honey. All right. So you could be drinking lemon, uh, hot lemon water and honey. That may be helpful for your voice, okay, for uh, you musicians out there. Let's see, just one. All right, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, all right? I'm getting a Brown, so someone could have the uh, last name Brown here. All right, I'm also getting a Leo. Some of you guys could be releasing a Leo. Um, let's see, someone could be from the Carolinas, from the South. All right, I'm always picking up Southern energy here, okay? Always from the South. Let's see. Also, New York. Someone may be from New York. Let's see. I'm also getting Texas. So if you are dealing with a Venus Virgo, someone who could have... Uh, this could be a Scorpio. All right. This could definitely be a musician. Um, this could be you, yourself. Yeah, never lose sight of that. I feel like some of you guys are not lo losing sight of who you are, uh, what you are here to do. I feel like some of you guys uh, are a musician. You could be 32. Some of you guys could be uh, blowing up as a musician uh, when you are 32 years old. All right, let's see. I feel like all eyes are on you. So in the recent past, dealing with the Venus and Virgo or Scorpio, I feel like all eyes have been on you. Um, some of you guys may have, uh, somebody may want to confess something to you guys. All right, somebody may assign their name and blood. On, what? What y'all got going on, Pisces? What well, somebody else got going on? Yeah, I feel like um, somebody here may have done something in blood, all right? And I feel like they may be confessing about this or somebody may be confessing this to a musician. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, I feel like uh, now somebody is... Be okay, so what I'm getting is this person may have... Uh, somebody may have used blood to do some type of uh, spell work on a musician or to grow as a musician. I don't know. I feel like somebody here is being aggressive. So you could be being aggressive towards this person. If this is you who did this or vice versa, somebody could be being aggressive towards you. Um, they could have done blood. I'm, I'm definitely getting something surrounding blood magic or um, some type of, yeah, some type of blood magic here. All right. And it may have been so that someone could uh, receive some type of beauty um, recognition, fame, and I feel like now this person is upset or angry, or you could be mad at this person. Um, this could be a past love. All right, I feel like someone uh, wants to return, but this person is aggressive in nature, could even be violent, all right? So this could be somebody, I feel like somebody is violent and aggressive towards a musician here. They could have done spell work using blood to stop this person, but I feel like it's somebody's destiny. All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody is going to try to uh, cause war. So either you're trying to cause war for this person here, the Scorpio or this Venus and Virgo or somebody or this person is trying to cause war with you because you are an up and coming star. Um, you're going towards your true north or your destiny. And this person could be lacking financially. All right. So I feel like somebody could have been um, paying for spell work, paying for blood magic or something like that. 
Um, I, mm, but I'm definitely getting now somebody who is going to uh, wants war. Okay. Because somebody feels like what they're doing isn't working. Yeah. Somebody may try to, this person may try to rush in. All right. But I feel like your guides are, um, intuitively, uh, helping you in this situation and helping you to see that this person is trying to cause you some type of anxiety. So I feel like somebody could be doing spell work to make you feel like you're uh, lacking, to make you feel like you're not uh, you're not stable or to make you feel like you're going to be impoverished again. All right. So let's see. Um, but that's dealing with uh, Scorpio. OK, dealing with another Virgo. This could be you. Um, somebody is definitely a triple threat here. I'm getting singing, writing, dancing. All right, or singing, writing, and fighting. Somebody could, uh, somebody got them hands though. Somebody got them hands. Okay, let's see. I feel like this person is confident now, or you are confident. Yeah, I feel like somebody is confident, not focused on the bullshit. Somebody is a, a triple threat, a diva. I feel like this person is uh, decided to not communicate with you in the recent past, or you decided to not communicate with them. I feel like somebody's playing deaf. All right, I feel like somebody's playing deaf to the bullshit. All right, this could have been somebody who called you tone deaf or somebody who said you couldn't sing. Um, I feel like some of you guys may have been um, looking for, some of you guys may have been waiting for a call back from a job here, all right, or some type of opportunity. Hold on. All right, I feel like some of you guys may also, um, if this isn't about job, this could have to do with the union. Some of you guys, uh, there was no communication or you had a separation with your twin. So this could have to do with the twin flame situation, a divine masculine, divine feminine. All right, I feel like somebody decided to, um, you know, block someone here uh, or someone decided to block someone from their past and go towards a divine union to start a family. Um, but I do feel like maybe you uh, are, you know, you could be lacking financially or feel like that or your person feels like that. So some of you guys could have come into union with your person, but some uh, somebody may have not gotten a, a stable job or stable income or something like that. There could also be some secrets that's keeping someone tied financially to a situation. All right, let's see. Yeah, I feel like uh, someone is uh, going to be releasing a third party situation. Someone has the clarity that they're uh, that they need to release this. All right, and not communicate with somebody in their past. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be releasing a job. All right, in order to go towards this romance. Um, yeah, somebody's taking a chance and going towards this romance and ending a situation with a job, uh, with a, a, a past commitment. Yeah, somebody's going towards, uh, I'm definitely getting someone's releasing a nine to five to go towards their true passion or someone's releasing um, a past situation to go towards their true love. All right. Yep. Somebody is going towards the star or going towards becoming the star. Dealing with the Taurus. All right, I feel like there's wish fulfillment here with this Taurus. This uh, Taurus sees you as wish fulfillment. This could be someone who um, is from the Carolinas, North South Carolina. I feel like uh, you could be thinking about this person. This person could be thinking about you. Um, they see you have grown spiritually. This person has grown spiritually. I feel like this person is smiling at you or wants or is smiling, looking at you because they desire you. All right, um, but I feel like, you know, this person may not have a lot of money at this time, so they could be, uh, and I feel like somebody's being impatient, okay? So you may not be the one that's trying to sell stuff or do whatever to get money. This may be somebody else that's doing that because they want wish fulfillment with you, and they're thinking about how much you've grown, and they're thinking about how um, how much you have uh have manifested in your life and I feel like this person wants you they desire you um some 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 want some sex okay somebody wants somebody wants some loving um yeah they feel like you are beautiful all right and I feel like this person definitely wants you um but they could also be competing with you you know or competing with uh your destiny maybe you are destined to do something all right oh am I going over time with y'all let me get y'all next seven days y'all about to have me going over time Pisces. So dealing with the Taurus, I feel like some of you guys could be coming together with the Taurus, all right? Or this person sees you as wish fulfillment. All right, let's see. In the next seven days for Piscean. Illusion. So I feel like somebody is definitely trying to uh, cause some type of illusions here. I feel like you are tired of this shit, okay? Or your person's tired of this shit. Somebody's going to lay something to rest here. All right, yeah, because somebody knows that somebody's trying to manipulate them emotionally. Somebody's trying to wear them out. All right. Yeah. Somebody's trying to cause someone to feel stuck emotionally or to feel stuck. I'm, I'm definitely getting root work here. Uh, someone I feel like this is a Leo Aries Sag wants you to stay stuck on them. All right. 
in the next seven days here. Or this could be you doing this to uh, someone else. Let's see. Oh, oh. All right, but I see that somebody is going to get denied, all right, because they're going towards this. Uh, somebody going to deny somebody here that's doing a root work on somebody or trying to get keep somebody stuck to them, but they're going to get denied. Access denied in this bitch. Yeah, because somebody is like, no, I'm going towards my wish fulfillment. I'm ending this shit with you. I'm going towards my wish fulfillment, bro. All right, so I feel like somebody's definitely going to end a relationship, deny an offer here, regardless of somebody trying to cause illusions, somebody trying to keep them stuck. I feel like somebody's not with the shit no more. Somebody's going towards their ten of cups, their true happiness. All right, yeah, and I feel like the divine is definitely going to be helping and assisting you or this person um, or this pair uh, at this time. Yeah, wish come true. Yeah, I feel like somebody wishes it's about to come true regardless of what they do okay anyway so next time later pisces